I'm Mark. And I'm Josh. And this is Alter Ego Comics TV, first episode of 2011. New year, lots of new and exciting stuff going on in the world of comics, and we'll touch on some of those today. Uh, one of those is DC is doing a jumping on point for new readers starting this week, and they're starting their new campaign of Hold the Line at two ninety nine, where they roll back their cover prices on the majority of their of their titles, if not all of their titles. I think there are going to be some prestige format and some one shots that might be more than that, but all their monthly books are going to be two ninety nine. And they're doing some cool cover stuff. All the covers are white and have people on them. <laughs> and have, they're almost like posters. So each cover is, is very cool and unique. And you'll definitely notice it when you look at them in the store. So that's the big news from DC. Um, lots of stuff going on this year. we got the comic-related movies out the wazoo. Uh, a new Marvel crossover that is supposed to be a giant Civil War type uh, summer event called Fear Itself. And that's going to actually get a prologue in March and then kick off in the summer. But let's uh, dive into a couple weeks worth of stuff because we haven't done an episode in a couple of weeks. Uh, let's start with that. This. New this week, I'm sorry, new last week, is the Buffy the Vampire Slayer Tales hardcover. I don't know if you can tell, but... Uh, this is an oversized format, significantly larger, and the content is actually some of my favorite Buffy stuff that's been published. This collects Tales of the Slayers, Tales of the Vampires, and the Tales of the Vampires stuff that was done in Season 8. The, and uh, the vast majority of them are written by writers from the show. Uh, you see appearances of classic characters. You also get to delve deeper into the Slayer mythos. Basically what you get is a bunch of short, one-off, self-contained stories about Slayers and Vampires throughout the ages. If you're a Buffy fan, it's a great read. And at two ninety nine, it's... I'm sorry... <laughs> Twenty nine ninety nine. It's uh, it's a really high quality hardcover for the price. It is thick and awesome and useful for moose killing. It's crazy. Best best deal probably in the last couple of weeks. Easily. <laughs> Easily. Uh, and a very cool cover by Joe Chen. Indeed. Uh, also last week we had Batman: The Dark Knight, the long-awaited series by David Finch, uh, most most well known for his art, and now he's uh, taken a stab at writing. And it wasn't a bad issue. Good first issue. The artwork is top-notch. Uh, it's actually kind of cleaned up a little bit, David Finch, and I think it's because Scott Williams is doing the inking and Scott Williams is Jim Lee's inker. Um, so it, it actually looks a little bit like Jim Lee throughout. So if you're a Jim Lee fan or a David Finch fan or a Scott Williams fan, uh, the artwork is top-notch in this. In the story, it's a first issue, so it's kind of you know tough to say where it's, where it's going, but it's kind of a traditional... A Batman type story, you know, good guy versus bad guy type of thing. But Bat fans should check it out. This week we got another issue of the Avengers Children's Crusade. If you like the Avengers, this is the best Avengers book on the shelves. Uh, we've continued to follow the young Avengers in uh, their quest to find the Scarlet Witch and find out if she really is their mother, etc. And uh, we're involved with Doctor Doom and Latveria, and the real Avengers show up, and there's all sorts of madness, and it's just a wonderful book, and month by month has been the best on the shelves for the Avengers line. So it comes out every other month. So. Oh. <laughs> it's good enough for two months. Yes, it is, and I am in complete agreement with Josh. It is the best Avengers book, books on the racks, uh, and sadly, not enough of you are reading it, so um, check it out. Uh, also new this week, Ultimate Captain America, number one, by Jason Aaron, who's writing the current Wolverine series, where Wolverine goes to hell and doing a great job with that. Uh, artwork by Ron Garney, uh, Ultimate Universe expands uh, with a Captain America movie coming out next year. I think Marvel's going to be throwing a bunch of Captain America stuff at us, and this is the first uh, salvo, I think. Uh, other than the three miniseries that have come out those already. Other ones, <laughs> yes, but just a heads up, new Ultimate book, Ultimate Captain America, number one, came out this week. Uh, also new this week, a number one for those of you that uh, would like to get in. I, I can't. I don't know if I can say on the ground floor. It's not on the ground floor, but uh, Image is re-releasing The Walking Dead as a weekly series starting this week. So if you want to read the comics the way that they were originally published, um, but at a much faster pace, so you're getting four to five issues a month instead of one issue a month, uh, or if you're if you don't want to spend the fifteen bucks for a trade and you want to stick with the whatever this is two ninety nine. Um, it's an interesting way to do it. We'll see you know, whether people respond, but you do have the opportunity to start reading The Walking Dead starting this week with number one, and then there'll be a new issue every week. 
Also, continuing DC's salvo of white covers, we have a Steel one-shot featuring Steel and Doomsday. So if uh, you're a Steel fan, this is, a, this, is maybe, this is your only chance to see him, because he's not in a lot of books anymore. <laughs> but uh, it was a good read, and it sets up some ongoing stuff with the Reign of Doomsday that's going to be crossing the DCU. Yeah, the next part is in Outsiders. Uh, good stuff. Speaking of good stuff, the new volume of uh, Invincible Iron Man came out in trade this week. This is volume four. Uh, this is the beginning, or the first uh, story arc after World's Most Wanted. World's Most Wanted. Uh, and Invincible Iron Man has been excellent. You've heard us say it before, from the beginning. Uh, this is another series that is not selling as well as it should. Uh, it's a core Marvel Universe t character. Uh, granted, a lot of people may hate him because of Civil War and some of the decisions that uh, Tony Stark has made, but uh, Invincible Iron Man is a great read, and a lot of people are reading it in trade paperback or graphic novel format. So if that's you, come on in. Volume 4 is out. If you'd like to get started, we have all the volumes in stock. Not too late. And another number one from DC, we have Batman Beyond number one. This is an ongoing that follows on the heels of the mini we had a few months back. Uh, this is the same creative team. <clears throat> yes, it is. Yes. Thank you for not putting credits on the front of the book, DC. Awesome. But uh, yes, continues Terry and Batman and Bruce, some of which are the same people. <laughs> and uh, we're seeing Bruce be a, give Terry a little more chance to have a life and how that just never really works out for Batman. But if you're a fan of the Batman Beyond character of the cartoon series or the mini, it's a good read and you should check it out. Even if, I mean, I watched some of the episodes, but I was a little older when the show came on. Um, but you, you see the, the Justice League, you know, what mm -hmm. they look like uh, during the Batman Beyond's time. And whether you've watched the show or not watched the show, especially if you have watched the show, I think you're going to find a lot to like in that book. And if you haven't, you'll still find a lot to like. And last but not least, uh, Earp Saints for Sinners. This is a five-issue miniseries from Radical Publishing, who uh, is one of our favorite publishers these days, doing new and original stuff, uh, taking older concepts and, and revitalizing them and reimagining them. Uh, they've they've reimagined Hercules. Uh, they've reimagined Aladdin, and now they're taking on White Earp. And this is set in kind of a post-apocalyptic Las Vegas, right? I believe so. Um, where the Earp brothers come to town, and they are lawmen. So, you know, if you're a fan of the Earps, of uh, westerns, although it's not a western, you know, it's got that vibe to it. Vegas is in the west. Vegas is in the west. <laughs> uh, it's got some really, Mad Max in there. Everything I mean, that Radical has done, we have liked. And again, we want more people to check Radical Publishing out, uh, one of the newer publishers, and they're doing some really fantastic stuff. So this is an opportunity to check this out right now. Oh, uh, I did say last but not least, but last but not least, uh, we are changing our store hours effective next week. So that would be January 10th, I believe, Monday the 10th. Uh, new store hours, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. until 6 p.m., and Saturdays, 10 until 2 so we're adding some hours earlier in the day, we're cutting some hours out at the end of the day, and we're shortening our Saturday. Uh, but doing some statistical analysis, uh, I think that these will work better for everybody. Uh, and uh, we're also getting our comics on, we'll have our comics ready for you at 10 o'clock on Wednesdays. Wednesday will always be New Comic Book Day in 2011. It's a new program that our distributor is doing. So no holiday delays this year. Wednesday will always be New Comic Book Day. That's it. Nope. As long as nothing goes wrong. Yes, as long as there's no <laughs> earthquake, terrorist attack, uh, acts of God, yes. flat tire on the UPS truck. There you could know, be many things that happen. Things. <laughs> but if everything goes as planned, new comics every day, or every, every day, every <laughs> Wednesday in 2011. That's it for this week. You can check us out on Facebook. Just do a search for Alter Ego Comics and join the Alter Ego Comics group uh, or fan page or one of those things. You can always post questions or comments in the notes below in the area below, and that should do it. Anything else? We'll see you next week.